Hey guys, it's Zach here, and today we've got another great Blu-ray release from 88 Films featuring an awesome kung fu pick from the well-regarded Shaw Brothers Studios, Shaolin Mantis, aka The Deadly Mantis. Originally released in 1978, Shaolin Mantis is directed by Lau Kar Leung and stars David Chiang, Cecilia Wong Hong Sao, and Lau Kar Wing. With a great cast as well as several awesome cameos, you know it's going to be fun. The movie itself is presented by 88 Films with an HD remaster on top of a collection of bonus features to check out. But before we get to unboxing our physical release, let's talk a bit about the film itself. Shaolin Mantis stars David Chang as Wei Feng, the son of a scholar under the Qing Empire. He's skilled in both literature and martial arts and is recently recruited by the Emperor himself. Wei Feng is first put to the test with a couple of challenges up front including great cameo fights with Li Hoi Sang and Gordon Liu. It turns out the Emperor needs a skilled champion to go to the Qiping province and seek out evidence of a growing rebellion, so he forces Wei Feng into the task through brute authority and threats against his family. Wei Feng sets out in search of the rebels, eventually arriving in a small town. Soon after, he runs into a feisty woman named Gigi, played by Cecilia Wang Hong Sao. She's looking for a new teacher, as it seems her energetic attitude and lack of focus has chased off all of her past instructors. Oh, and of course her impulsive need to practice kung fu and show off her skills. Oddly enough, after stoking a conflict between Gigi and her previous teacher, Wei Feng gets caught up in being hired as the 19th one. But as luck would have it, it turns out that her family is the most notable one in town with a great influence over the area and a strong lineage of martial artists within the tree. So Wei Feng goes undercover, hiding his own knowledge of Kung Fu and learning all he can about the family from his very talkative student. Over the course of the film, the plot swells with drama and deception as differing characters slowly reveal more and more about their intentions. The Tian family elder, played by Lao Kar Wing, is a martial arts master knowledgeable in the rare, inseparable shadow style. He's suspicious of Wei Feng's presence, but granddaughter Chi Chi sees different, slowly falling in love with our protagonist as the story plays out. It's revealed that the Tian family is head of a rebellion branch, bringing us to the major point of diversity among the cast of characters. So you might be saying, where's all the fighting? Well, the first half of Shaolin Mantis is quite story-driven, woven with dialogue rather than fists. The film definitely takes its time with the liar-revealed story, indulging in the drama and relying on the writing to keep you engaged. And honestly, I can't really say I wasn't. While fairly cliché, the plot was still interesting enough to hold my attention until the second half, where it plunges into non-stop kung fu fighting. Together, Wei Feng and Chi Chi face the familial gauntlet. Like a chain of boss battles, we get fight after fight each with members who have mastered varying weapons and styles. From pole arms to swordplay to hand-to-hand -hand combat, we get everything. On top of that, instead of the standard training sequence present in many kung fu films, we get David Chang essentially inventing Mantis style while studying the actual creatures out in the wilds. This showcase between fighting style and animal similarities is great, and the cinematography really shines with the colorful sets and striking shadow play. Overall, Shaolin Mantis is a great pick from the Shaw Brothers catalog. You may have to wade through a ton of story beats, but for those who are patient, you'll be rewarded with a third act packed to the brim with martial arts action. Check it out for yourself, and let me know what you think of the film down in the comments below. Until then, we've got a physical release from 88 Films to check out, and it's packed with bonuses on and off disc. So without further stalling, let's head on over and unbox our copy. Here we are with 88 Films' Blu-ray release of Shaolin Mantis. Another Shaw Brothers entry from the label, it comes in a standard slipcover featuring some awesome artwork by Kung Fu Bob as the recent norm. All of our release information is listed on the back, and underneath we have our clear Blu-ray case with matching sleeve. If we open it up, we'll find a single Blu-ray disc on the right, as well as a few physical bonuses on the left. First up is a dual-sided fold-out poster, featuring the newly commissioned artwork on one side, and the original poster work for the film on the other. Our other physical bonus is a collection of four lobby cards, showcasing various shots of the film on one side, and the title's new logo on the other. With those aside, we can lastly note that the sleeve for our case is, as usual, reversible. 
with the original artwork appearing once more on the optional side. With that however, we fully unboxed our physical release, so let's head on over and check out what all is included on the disc. 88 Films presents Shaolin Mantis, aka The Deadly Mantis, with an HD remaster from the original 35mm camera negatives. The film brings with it several audio options, including both the Mandarin and English mono audio tracks, as well as two bonus commentary tracks for those rewatches. One track features Asian cinema experts Mike Leader and Arna Venema, and the other track features Asian cinema expert Frank Jang. If you're no stranger to my Hong Kong cinema reviews, then you're already on board for these inclusions. Leader and Venema keep up an engaging and fun conversation, and I always enjoy hearing their bits of information on the film from both a story and historical standpoint, and as a Hong Kong cinema production. I'll always recommend the casual style they bring, while still being extremely informative and entertaining. In his own track, Frank Jang shares his vast knowledge of the Hong Kong film industry and Chinese history. As always, Jang knows how to keep the one-sided discussion moving throughout, keeping the listener engaged. Overall, these two commentary tracks and their hosts make definitive bonus features to check out if you enjoy the film and this genre. With the feature presentation aside, 88 Films closes out the release with a handful of video bonus features to check out. We of course get two trailers for Shaolin Mantis, including a Hong Kong trailer and a US trailer. On top of that, we also have two interviews to watch, running just over 30 minutes long put together. The first is titled Complicated Families and features writer and film critic David West. With the video running just under 14 minutes long, West takes the time to discuss the film from both a production standpoint and a writing standpoint. He summarizes various sequences and decisions within the story, explaining the reasons behind certain setups and plot points. There are many subtleties relating back to the production crew, and West brings a great bonus watch for after the movie. Moving on to our second interview and final supplement overall, we have a 20-minute video titled Uncle Tian Chung, featuring actor and filmmaker John Chung, who plays one of the Tian family uncles in the film. In his video, Chung talks about various members and legacies within the Hong Kong industry, before focusing on Shaolin Mantis itself. He shares some experiences with various cast and crew on set, making for another awesome addition to close out the release. Overall, 88 Films release of Shaolin Mantis is certainly one to check out. If you're a fan of Lau Kar Leung's filmography, then this one is a no-brainer. Plus, the bonus features will certainly satisfy your curiosity. Otherwise, catch it where you can in order to see David Chang spotlit in both drama and action. The rest of the cast support the story well and bring home the fights with a blast of choreography spectacle for the third act. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below, and until then, Thanks so much for joining me here once more on Pajama Theater. Like this video and subscribe to support the channel, and as always, thanks again, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.